All right, AFC Championship game preview. We've got the Tennessee Titans coming off of a dominating performance against the Ravens. And we've got the Kansas City Chiefs coming off of a legendary game by Patrick Mahomes. These two teams have already met up and fought against each other in the regular season. And the Titans came out victorious in that matchup by a uh, game-winning drive by Ryan Tannehill. Will Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry and this crew get the upset in Kansas City and head off to Miami? Or will it be Patrick Mahomes standing tall, protecting home field, and getting his team to a Super Bowl so that we can finally prove Andy Reid can win the big one? I can't wait to see this matchup. It's going to be a fun game this weekend. Everybody enjoy it because this is going to be a blast. Let's get into it. So in terms of advantage, who has the advantage in this game? Offensively, I got to give it to the Chiefs. They're just playing at such a high level. Now, let me not give any disrespect to this Titans offense. Derrick Henry has been carrying them in this postseason. He's on a legendary run. You understand that this guy in his first four postseason games, he has more rushing yards than Terrell Davis. That is legendary. Not only that, he's carrying this Titans squad. He ran all over the Patriots defense and then ran all over the Ravens. He exposed the Ravens defense by himself. He made that Ravens defense look like his children. That's how great he was. Man, that's some legendary stuff, guys. That is some legendary stuff. You got to be proud of Derrick Henry, man, because he's beasting right now. And I believe he's going to do the same thing to the Chiefs defense. It's going to be a fun ride. But with that being said, even though this Titans offense is still great, and also let's not sleep on Ryan Tannehill, he did have two touchdowns against the Ravens, and I believe he's going to have a great performance against the Chiefs defense as well. But with all that being said, I'm not betting against Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in this league, and it's not even close. The guy was down by 24 points in his own house against the Texans in the playoff game. And this guy did not, he did not waver. He did not falter. He stood up, said game time, and went in there and threw four touchdown passes in one quarter and gave him a 28-24 to lead to go into halftime. We all knew the game was over after that. If you looked at Deshaun Watson's face, he knew the game was over. Now granted, part of this has to be blamed on Bill O'Brien. Because this guy does not know how to manage a game to save his life. He's a terrible head coach. He's wasting the talent of Deshaun Watson. He's just wasting the talent of the Texans as a whole. Why would you go for it on fourth down in your own 30, yet you don't go for it on fourth down when it's fourth and inches at the 10, where you could possibly ice the game? Nah, let's settle for a field goal. What type of nonsense? He needs to be fired. But anyway, this is not a Texans video. This is about the Titans and it's about the Chiefs. And I give more... Um, praise to Patrick Mahomes that I give any blame to Bill O'Brien because Patrick Mahomes was down 24 and he threw four touchdown passes and took the lead before halftime. That is some legendary stuff. This guy's the best quarterback in the league and it's not even close. He's by far better than any other quarterback playing the game right now. And I'm saying this as a diehard Ravens fan and as a full on Lamar Jackson supporter. Look, I love Lamar Jackson. That's my guy. That is my guy. I rock with this dude. I'm glad he's the quarterback of the Ravens. I wouldn't want any other quarterback representing this Ravens team. He is the best fit for this team, and he's the leader that Baltimore needs. I believe he's going to get better, and I know he's going to put in the work the offseason to come back even better than he was in this MVP season by him. But with all that being said, as great as Lamar is, and as, as much as I love him as my quarterback, Patrick Mahomes is a better quarterback, and it's not even close. Patrick Mahomes is better than Lamar Jackson. He's better than Deshaun Watson. He's better than Russell Wilson. He's better than any other quarterback playing the game right now. And that's just how I feel personally. This guy, I don't care what deficit you, you put him against. He could be down by 30. He will find a way to come back. That's how great this guy is. This is some all-time great stuff we're seeing by him. And I'm not a, a ready to bet against Patrick Mahomes in an AFC Championship game when he's in his own house. No. So, advantage clearly goes to the Chiefs. Defensively, I'm giving it to the Titans because simple fact is that Titans defense, first of all, they held the Patriots offense to 13 points, which I guess is not necessarily impressive because that Patriots offense was so anemic and terrible. But what's extremely impressive is the fact that they held my Ravens offense to 12 points. Bruh, this Ravens offense led the league in scoring with 33 points a game. They have not scored under 20 points once this season. And the Titans defense went into Baltimore in a playoff game. And they held Lamar and the Ravens offense to 12 points. That is a dominating performance by that Titans defense. Not only that, they forced Lamar to turn the ball over three times. Two interceptions, one fumble. 
That is a dominating performance by that Titans defense. And I don't see the Chiefs defense doing that. Now, granted, the Chiefs defense did face off against um, Lamar Jackson. And for most of the game, they held him under check. But for this, nah. And plus, what Lamar, early on in the season, with the way Lamar was playing was not the way Lamar is playing later on. If you look at Lamar through the first um, seven weeks, and then you look at Lamar after week nine, it's like night and day. This guy was good. This guy was the MVP. They took on MVP Lamar Jackson. They shut his, his offense down. That's how great the Titans defense was. So they get the clear edge in this. So, when it comes to who's going to win this game, like I said, I'm picking the Kansas City Chiefs. I cannot bet against Patrick Mahomes. Now, I do believe this is going to be a close game. I believe the Titans are going to run the ball with Derrick Henry a bunch. They're going to... They're, they, they have decided this postseason that Derrick Henry is going to carry them as far as they can go. If that means a Super Bowl, they will love it. If it means a one and done, they will love it. Now, granted, they're in the AFC Championship game, so obviously this has worked. They have lived and died by Pat, by, Pat, by Derrick Henry. And so far, they are living it up because he's got them to the AFC Championship game. And Ryan Tannehill, all he has to do is not make mistakes, and they will win the game. So Derrick Henry is going to keep this game close. But I'm not betting against that man, Patrick Mahomes. Best quarterback in the league by far. You can't stop him. The dude's unstoppable. You know what he's going to do, and he'll still do it. That's how great this guy is. I'm not betting against him. So I got to go with the Chiefs. I feel like they're just the better team overall, especially with Patrick Mahomes. Actually, no, I'm not going to say the best team overall. I think it's actually kind of even between the Titans and the Chiefs. In fact, you'd probably say team-wise, it may be a little bit of an edge for the Chiefs. But not that much. That's why I say they're about even. The X factor is Patrick Mahomes. And I believe with him fully healthy and doing what he's doing, I just don't see how the Titans will be able to stop him. Now, I do have a game plan that the Titans would have to do in order to win the game. And the funny funny thing about that, um, I actually made a preview uh, game for the Ravens and Titans divisional game, and I didn't post it on my channel. Because I felt like if this was to happen... Ravens fans will come and look at me as if I just gave, gave away a game plan for us to lose this game. In my preview video, I said the Titans, for them to win this game and pull off the upset against the Ravens, one, that Titans defense would need to force Lamar to turn the ball over three times, which they did. Two, Derrick Henry would have to run for nearly 200 yards and have two total, um, two total touchdowns, which he did. And then Ryan Tannehill would have to throw at least two touchdowns himself. If they can do all of that and get around 30 points, I believe they could have beaten our Ravens team. I said all of that, and that ended up happening. So imagine me having this video on Wednesday, not posting it because I just felt scared. I felt like I was going to jinx our team. So imagine me saying this on Wednesday and sitting down for the game on Saturday and have every single thing I said in my video happen to my team. Oh, man, you couldn't imagine my emotions. That pretty much sparked the rant video I had after the Ravens lost. But, yeah, Titans, if you want to win this game, this is what you got to do. I need you... To force Patrick Mahomes to turn the ball over once. Just once. Take away one possession from Mahomes. You need at least one turnover from Mahomes. That's all I need the defense to do. Because I know this defense is going to make stops. They made stops when they faced off against him earlier this season. And I believe they can still make stops. I do not believe Patrick Mahomes is going to be scoring every single time like he was against the... Um, Texans after after that first touchdown they just kept scoring like they could not be stopped I don't see them doing that against the Titans defense so I believe they will make some stops and get the ball back to the Titans but I just need you to take away one extra possession from Mahomes because that one extra possession that one turnover will do wonders for this team take away the ball from Mahomes once I need one turnover whether it's a fumble or um, whether it's a strip fumble or uh interception Force Mahomes to make a mistake and capitalize on it. That's all I need from this Titans defense. Offensively, I need Derrick Henry to repeat what he did against that Baltimore team and do it a bit more. I want over 200 yards rushing. If he can get over 200 yards rushing and two touchdowns, they got it. And last thing, Tannehill, I need three touchdowns from you, bro. That's right. I need this Titans team to score over 30 points. I need three touchdown pass. It could be three touchdown pass or three total touchdowns from... um. Ryan Tannehill, but I need three. I need three total touchdowns from Tannehill. I need three total touchdowns from Tannehill, and I need two total touchdowns from uh, Derrick Henry. And I need a turnover on defense for the Titans. If they can do all of this, well, they got a really good chance to upset the Titans. I mean, upset the Chiefs. 
Funny thing about that is they could do all of this and Patrick Mahomes will still find a way to win, but I believe this is their best course of action. They've got to be looking. You're not going to stop this team from moving the football. We saw that with the Ravens. They did not stop Lamar Jackson from moving the football. All they needed to do was force them to make mistakes. And we saw what happened. Lamar in the offense, they kept moving the ball down the field, kept getting inside the red zone. But what happened every single time they got into the red zone? Either they got stuffed on fourth down, or Lamar Jackson got the ball turned over. That's all you need. That is all you need from this Titans defense. Do the same with Mahomes. Now granted, if you can get more picks on him, <laughs> it will really help you guys. It wouldn't be a close game. But I'm saying, if you want the best chance to win, I need at least, at least one turnover from this Titans defense. You got to pick off Mahomes once in this game. If you can do that, and Derrick Henry can ball out with 200 rushing yards and two total touchdowns, and Ryan Tannehill can get at least three total touchdowns, the Titans are going to the Super Bowl. That's all that's got to be said. So I wish the best of luck to the Tennessee Titans. I love the underdog story, and I love watching these legendary runs because you don't get to see this often. You don't get to see an often um, this. You don't get to see just a run like this often. Last time we had this type of run, I mean, you could probably say uh, Nick Foles. Yeah, Nick Foles against uh, the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. You saw that. You saw what he did there, and then you saw what he did in the Super Bowl against the. Patriots so this feels like a similar type of run by the Titans and I hope they can keep it up because honestly Tennessee deserves a championship bro they gotta make up for that 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 Super Bowl Oof. well I'm not gonna bring it up Titan fans I understand your pain I'm not gonna bring it up but you guys deserve to be in the Super Bowl but at the same time Mahomes deserves to be in the Super Bowl because if it wasn't for D Ford who by the way is balling for the Niners and I know every Chief fan is sitting back and hoping that this guy this week against the Packers screws up and cost the Niners the championship game because that would be hilarious. But yeah, the Chiefs, I don't see Mahomes being stopped. And they Mahomes deserves a ring as well. Had it not been for D Ford, he would have been in the Super Bowl last year. I think they're going to get it done. I think Andy Reid is going to get to coach in the Super Bowl once again. And this time he's got the best quarterback he's ever coached. So uh, if the Chiefs blow it in the Super Bowl here, Andy Reid's never won in the Super Bowl. I'm telling you right now, if they don't win, if they get to the Super Bowl and they lose, I don't see Andy Reid ever winning a championship. But anyway, that's all I got. I got the Chiefs winning. I think uh, Mahomes is going to throw for three touchdowns. Damien's going to get um, two rushing touchdowns like he did against the Texans. Tyreek Hill is going to catch one. Travis Kelsey is going to um, catch one. And then the last one's going to go to Sammy Watkins. That's just how I see it. And then for the Titans, um, Tannehill is going to have three total touchdowns. I think he's going to actually run two in. And then the third one is going to be the A.J. Brown. And then Derrick Henry is going to run to win himself. And actually, I'm kidding. It's not going to happen. What I think is going to be actually two touchdown passes from Tannehill. And then two touchdown runs from Derrick Henry. And the game's going to be close, but Mahomes is going to cap it off at the end. That's how I really see it. I was about to read the game plan for how they actually, the Titans would win this game if they follow my game plan. But I don't see them doing that. I, I just don't see the Chiefs sitting back and letting that happen. But anyway, that's all I got. I believe the Chiefs will be in the Super Bowl, and I can't wait to watch this game. Peace out.